all make mistakes sometimes, but when one forgets to turn on both cameras when doing an interview, that's a monumental cock-up. So, even though we do have the audio, here's some lovely kittens to uh, fill the void. Oh, no, she's running away. Yeah, I don't know, we're always like waiting, aren't we? That's why I'm just smacking my head as well, we're all good. So guys, <laughs> we're here at Old Comic Con, of course, with the star, some of the, I'd like to consider the stars of Sanctuary. Uh, Agam and Jonathan, how are you guys? Did I pronounce that right? A Agam? Agam. Agam. I did pronounce it right. I'd be terrible if I had to pronounce it right. How are you guys doing? Jonathan, Jonathan however you met. Jonathan. 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 Thong. 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 Pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Silent G. So guys, how are you enjoying yourselves here at the moment? Pretty good. You know? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love that? That's just what the are Australian fans are. Are we actually recording? It, it's like shit. It's all yeah. it's all are we actually on. recording right now? Yeah, this oh, is, we are. This is live. Okay, sorry. This is, <laughs> this is going out live to Australia. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that will go up to millions of people now. Yeah. No, bro, it'll be fine. So, guys, um, let's talk about Sanctuary for just a moment. Sure. So, so, you guys, uh, it was a really well produced show and it was a really, uh, you know, I, I loved the show. It was uh, something I just sort of binge watched when I first discovered it. So, um, now, as someone who's like, uh, who might not have ever seen the show though, someone who might be like not really a big geek, and to someone who is a really huge geek, how would you describe I, Sanctuary? You, you yeah, am I the huge geek? Really no, huge no, geek. no, I was just trying to, in general, I was going to get you guys to try and describe Sanctuary to people who aren't a geek, right. and someone who is a big geek. So who, how would you describe the show to those two, two different people? Yeah, yeah, go on, go ahead, John. Yeah, how would you describe it, to, how would you describe the show to a geek? Let's do it like that. Um, it's uh, the sanctuary was a place for abnormals. Abnormals, right? Yes. That was what it was about. Um, a, a, a beautiful woman who was a scientist um, joined forces with some other brilliant friends back in the 1880s, and they injected vampire blood. Years later, fast forward to the present, she had, she runs a sanctuary for all abnormals, which are monsters and creatures. All things which exist. So, so what this takes a long time. I was gonna say, so what you're trying to tell me is that you went for the immediate um, the hot woman, abnormals, and uh, and vampires. So, so yeah, done. And how would you describe it to someone who's not a geek? That's very well uh, summed up. Lots of tits. Lo a lot. Yeah. A lot of tits. <laughs> Lots of, Lots of sex. <laughs> so much sex. So it's Game of Thrones for, for <laughs> yeah, that's what you're trying exactly. to tell me. Game yeah. of Thrones, right. Now, um what now your your uh, person is a con artist with, shall we say, a heart of gold and your is an a, ass kicking broad, you know, I just Yeah. To... Con artist with an ass kicking abilities but with a heart of gold. And you yeah, would be a vampire true. who is always playing an angle sort of thing. So in real life, what is the most uh, devious thing you've ever done in real life? The most devious thing. When I was a teenager, I stole a fancy lady's hat from the bay because I thought it would be ironic to, to go skateboarding wearing it. Was it ironic? I was caught on the way out and I was busted for shopping. Wow, so we got a real life uh, yeah, yeah, rebel, yeah. rebel here, right here. And, and your sex con. Sex con. <laughs> yeah. Devious behavior. Were you ever so stopped, ever stolen anything? Where do you begin? <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, just just pick the, the the one that happened like at least yesterday. You know, we'll go with yesterday. Oh yeah, yesterday. See this behavior. Um, well, okay. I'm not saying that I actually did this, but let's say hypothetically, while somebody wasn't here, I drew on his photos with like little mustaches and devil horns. I'm not saying I did it, but let's just zoom say in on this. I, 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 Camera I, I, without an operator. I, I, I'm sorry. Hang on a minute. <laughs> let, let, before you start poking fingers here, you know, let, let, let's let's be That's fair. Your, retribution. <laughs> uh, now, as well, you, you run something in Vancouver called the International Southeast Asian Film Festival. So, which you founded. Yeah. What's that about? Like, explain to people what that actually is. So it's a film festival in Vancouver um, to celebrate and um, focus on the work of uh, South Asian talent outside of India, outside of Bollywood. Uh, there's a lot of really great talented artists out there who do wonderful work and lots, lots of wonderful films, but generally the tendency is to kind of associate South Asians with very stereotypical ideas, and, uh, and so we really try to focus on um, the unexpected types of films. And it's really great work. I, I had a look at the stuff and it's oh, really okay. amazing sort of stuff. And Jonathan, I, I read up that you enjoy strutting the boards a little bit. You, uh, strutting is right, strutting yeah. The board. Strutting the boards. Yeah. Uh, with that a, if, oh, sorry. Cards Against Humanity card? It, if it's not, it should totally be. 
Now, uh, obviously, you enjoy a bit of Shakespeare, I've read as well, sort of thing. So, who is your favourite play from the Bard? Hamlet. Hamlet? Yeah. Hamlet? Yeah. I have, it's probably one of the few Shakespeare's I haven't read. I've done the Macbeth, I've done the Romeo oh, really? and Juliet. I know, but you haven't Hamlet. Read Hamlet. I haven't no, read Hamlet. Read that. See. Yeah. I, have, I don't do a lot of Shakespeare, but I did get to play Hamlet two summers ago. Oh, wow. Was that amazing? Yeah. yeah. Hard, so it's amazing. <laughs> and it could be part of the Against Humanity as well, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. And guys, look, before I let you, let you guys go, so I wanted to ask, in the show Shanktree, you find a lot of interesting, like, really cool characters or things, so, and you find these weird creatures. So, um, if I was to show you some Australian animals, or I ask you some, what some Australian animals are, would you be able to identify or recognize them? Yes. So, so if I was to say what a kangaroo is, would you be able to no, tell me what a kangaroo is? Yes. No. No. Okay. What about an echidna? What? An echidna. echidna. Yes. 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 Spiky thing? Anteater. Yeah. Yeah. That good. Really? Yeah, it's, it's like an anteater. Okay. It's very well done. What about a, um, a goanna? Yeah, that's like a guava. It's a fruit. No, it's a giant yeah. lizard. <laughs> He's beating you here. He's beating you here. Uh, what about a hoop snake? It's a snake. It's a hoop. It's a. <laughs> You're both right. Both right. Totally amazing. We work best together. <laughs> Two brains are better than one. It's what about a quokka? Do you know what a quokka is? Yes, a quokka is on Rottnest Island. What? It's like these little, like, furry rat-like creatures. But they're yes. adorable, aren't they? Yeah. No, they're and kind of cute, but they have a rat, like, like tail. They're the national dish of Perth. <laughs> <laughs> They're Perth's national dish. You guys know us a little bit too well here. I'm getting a little concerned about that. <laughs> and finally, guys, do you know what a wombat is? Yes. Is it furry? Most most Australian animals aren't furry, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you got a good chance of, of it being furry. It lives in trees? <laughs> oh, jeez. In the ground, like to create holes. So what I'm getting from this, guys, is probably don't drop you in the Australian outback for any reason whatsoever, <laughs> because you might start thinking something that's nice and fluffy, you could actually kill you. Is that yeah, what you're trying to tell? but it would be entertaining, so I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Oh, the next reality with a, show. With a camera? Done. Survivor. Yeah. Survivor. Like, the Sanctuary, Sanctuary Edition. edition. <laughs> Tesla in the outback. Oh my god. I mean, that is Do you cool. think you can survive there? For a while. For like two weeks, you yeah. by yourself uh, in the outback. Definitely. Of course you could. Really? Totally yeah. could. Yeah, yeah. Is that better? Two weeks? No problem. I mean, it depends on the time of year. Yeah, I was going to say, providing you got fully provisioned and everything, yeah. right? Yeah, and then yeah. you've got a camera yeah. crew, and you've got the radios, and yeah, Don't TV. need the camera crew. Yeah. <laughs> All right, survival. guys, look, um, thank you so much for uh, for meeting with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I hope you guys enjoy your time here at Comic-Con. Cheers. All right.